right, it's still a mess, uh, but I've gotten further. So Arduino, right, controls little digital to analog converter. That is now hooked up to those wires, which run to the Galvo controllers, the motor little motor controllers, or um, basically that um, probably send right their analog signal to the Galvos. I just have a little laser pointer rigged up temporarily, and that's being powered by this MOSFET. And you can tell when the laser turns on and off, I just have a LED in parallel with it. And the pin 5 on the Arduino is triggering it. And it turns it on and off so that basically it, it turns off the laser when you want to draw something. So uh, it turns it on and off at the right time. And this is not code that I generated, but I'll give it a second. Um, sorry, that's it's hard to read right now. It's refresh rate's a little weird on my camera. This is from the Instructables. So now I need to take this code yeah, and I've got something mirror imaged. So I think I've got my laser orientation wrong. I'm probably shooting at the wrong one. So I gotta figure that out. Although for orbitals, it won't really matter much since they're symmetric right around the origin. So, um, but I'm gonna take this code that generates letters and shapes and I'll tweak it now to plot points. And then the last step will be to uh, make sure that I can generate points with that function. And I'll generate generate that function, have it check for a point, plot a point, and then quickly move to another one. And um, I need to put in my blue laser. The current blue laser that I have is uh, lower resolution. It, its beam isn't very focused, so it doesn't look very good. So that's why I'm testing with the red one. And I've got uh, more lasers on the way. So... Yeah, it's a mess of stuff right now, but eventually I'll have this guy mounted at the appropriate distance. Oh, you might notice that the text looks really small, and that's because um, this DAC only outputs 0 to 5 volts, and these guys are looking for negative 5 to 5 volts, so they're bipolar. So the Instructables has been really good. And it specs out how to invert the signal and, and basically create a bipolar signal. So that's what I'm up to next. It's been pretty cookbook for me. I'm pretty lucky. The Instructables is almost exactly what I wanted to do. And then I'm just going to replace it and do the glow-in-the-dark uh, persistent. So I'm putting my, my flare on it. But um, yeah, that's my update. So hopefully, hopefully by Sunday I can have it done.